Darjeeling is a town and municipality in the Indian state West Bengal. The place is famous for its tea gardens and Himalayan mountain railway which is an UNESCO World Heritage train route. It is located at an altitude of 6700 feet. Darjeeling can be an ideal weekend getaway for you if you love hill stations. Here is a weekend tour plan of Darjeeling. In order to go to Darjeeling, first go to New Jalpaiguri railway station or Bagdogra airport from any part of India. From there, take a car to reach Darjeeling. A local car will charge around Rs. 2,500 for this trip. A share cab will charge Rs. 200 per person. You can go to Darjeeling via Karshiam or you may go to Darjeeling via Tista Bazar. Here we are following the second route. It will take around 3 hours to reach Darjeeling via Tista Bazar. Also enjoy beautiful view of Riva Tista at this place. At Tista Bazaar, you can find local garments, spices and handmade products. You may enjoy shopping here. On your way, visit Peshok Tea Estate. On a clear sunny day, Mount Kanchanjanga is clearly visible from this road. You may stop for a while and take some pictures of this majestic mountain peak. Upon reaching Darjeeling, check in to your hotel. In the evening, you can take a walk around the Mall Road. On day 2, early in the morning, either go to Tiger Hill to see sunrise or if you book a good quality hotel, then you can also view sunrise from your hotel room.
After breakfast, go for local sightseeing tour. First, go to visit Lamahatta. Local cafe for a whole day tour, including Lamahatta, will be around rupees three thousand. Lamahatta is a small village situated at an altitude of five thousand seven hundred feet, at a distance of twenty-three kilometer from Darjeeling. It is a calm and quiet place, famous for its natural beauty. Spend some time in the well-maintained roadside garden here. The entry fee to the park is rupees ten per person. On a clear day, Mount Kanchenjunga is clearly visible from this place. There are several homestays available in this place for night stay. From there, go to visit Padmajanaidu Himalayan Zoological Park and Himalayan Mountaineering Institute. The entry fee here is rupees sixty per person. The zoo was opened in the year 1958. It is situated at an altitude of 7000 feet and is the largest high altitude zoo in India. It is the home of many rare species of animals like snow leopard, the endangered Himalayan wolf, white tiger and many beautiful birds.
Doc, tell him. <laughs> there are some local souvenir stalls in front of the main entrance of the zoo. You can shop local handmade products from here. From Zoological Park, go to Tenzing and Gombu Rock. It is a gigantic natural rock in Darjeeling named after Tenzing Norgay. It is used for rock climbing training by Himalayan Mountaineering Institute. From Tenzing Rock, go to visit Pattabam Tea Garden. After visiting the Pattabang Tea Garden, go to visit Japanese Temple. On your way, you can see famous St. Joseph School, Darjeeling. The two-story traditional Japanese-style temple was built in the year 1972. Close to the temple, there is a peace pagoda that showcases four avatars of Lord Buddha. From the top of the pagoda, you can get a panoramic view of Darjeeling landscape including the Kanchanjunga range. On day 3 morning, enjoy the scenic beauty of Darjeeling from Mal, which is considered as the heart of the city.
you may enjoy your breakfast at the famous Kevinters restaurant located on Nehru Road. You can buy local products from Mal Market. In the afternoon, start your journey towards NGP for departure. 